Dear students, welcome to Blackboard. Two sides AB and BC and median AM of one triangle ABC are respectively equal to sides PQ and QR and median PN of triangle PQR. Show that triangle ABM congruent to triangle PQN. Second question, triangle ABC congruent to triangle PQR. Here is given the figure, triangle ABC and triangle PQR. AM and PN are the median. What is median? Median is the line segment drawn from one vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So here M is the midpoint of this side BC. That means this BM equal to mc same way this pn is the mid median so this qn equal to nr now our first question is triangle abm congruent to triangle pq we need it to prove it so i have drawn here two triangles and named abm and pqn now let us write the corresponding angles and sides first. Angles. Angle BAM equal to angle QPN. Next one. Angle ABM equal to angle PQN. Next one. Angle BMA equal to angle QNP. Then sides AB equal to PQ. BM equal to QN. Then AM equal to PN. In the question it is given AB is equal to PQ, BC is equal to QR, AM is equal to PN. So we need to find out any three corresponding equal parts. The question AB equal to PQ is given. So we can take it AB equal to PQ. In triangle ABM and triangle PQN. AB equal to PQ given. Then AM equal to PN also given in the question. So that one also we can select. AM equal to PN. It is also given. Next is given BC equal to QR. That means this BC equal to QR. So this BM equal to QN also. Because BM is the half of BC and Q, QN is the half of QR. So that one also we can take BM equal to QN. So here we go to three conditions, three sides. So we can conclude triangle ABM congruent to triangle PQN by SSS congruence rule. Now, our second question is to prove triangle ABC congruent to triangle PQR. I have drawn here two triangles and name ABC and PQR. Corresponding angles are angle BAC equal to angle QPR. Next one, angle ABC equal to angle PQR. Next one, angle BCA equal to angle QRP. Then sides AB equal to PQ, BC equal to QR, AC equal to PR. So it is given AB equal to PQ. In the question it is given. So we can write in triangle ABC and triangle PQR. AB equal to PQ given. BC equal to QR also given in the question. So that also we can write BC equal to QR. Then we need one more condition. That we can take from the above condition because we have already proved these two triangles are congruent. So all these conditions are true. Here you see the second one. Angle ABM equal to angle PQN. ABM is the same angle ABC. PQN it is same as PQR. So ABM equal to PQN means ABC equal to PQR. So this condition also we can take. So our third condition is angle ABC equal to angle PQR. 
this we have taken from here so we have written the reason triangle abm congruent to triangle pqn so we have got three conditions two side and one angle so we can conclude triangle abc congruent to triangle pqr by sas congruence rule rhs congruence rule if in two right triangles the hypotenuse and one side of one triangle are equal to the hypotenuse and one side of the other triangle then the two triangles are congruent rhs stands for right angle hypotenuse side so the rhs congruence rule says that in two right triangles if the hypotenuse and one side equal to hypotenuse and one side of other triangle then the triangles are congruent let us discuss one example be and cf are two equal altitudes of a triangle abc using rhs congruence rule prove that triangle abc is isosceles here given triangle abc be and cf are two altitudes altitude means a line segment drawn from one, one vertex to the opposite side it is the perpendicular line segment that means it makes 90 degree with that side so here this angle bec and angle cfb are right angles we need to prove here triangle abc is isosceles isosceles triangle means two sides are equal triangle abc is isosceles means ab equal to ac to prove two sides are equal it is enough to prove the opposite angles are equal because we have studied the sides opposite to equal angles are also equal so we can prove angle b equal to angle c to prove angle b equal to angle c let us take two triangles including this angle b and angle c from this figure we can consider this triangle bec and triangle c of b and let us prove they are congruent so i have drawn simply two triangles and named bec and cfb now let us write the corresponding parts angle ebc equal to angle fcb angle bec equal to angle cfb angle ecb equal to angle fbc be equal to cf ec equal to fb bc equal to cb so let us see here in the question it is given be and cf are equal so this condition is given in the question be equal to cf so we can write in triangle bec and cfb be equal to cf given so we have go to one side now here you can see one common side cb equal to bc so bc equal to bc we can write to common from the figure you can see this bc is the side opposite to right angle and the side opposite to right angle is known as the hypotenuse so here bc equal to bc is hypotenuse then this angle e and angle f are right angles so we can write angle bc equal to angle cfb both right angle so here we got the side hypotenuse right angle so we can conclude triangle bec 
കോൺക്രുവൻറ്റേറ്റീവ് ട്രയാങ്കിൾ സി എഫ് ഡി ബൈ ആർ എച്ച് എസ് കോൺക്രുവൻസ് റൂൾ സോ വി ഹാവ് പ്രൂവ്ഡ് ദീസ് ടു ട്രയാങ്കിൾസ് ആർ കോൺക്രുവൻറ്റ് സോ വി ക്യാൻ സേ ദിസ് ആംഗിൾ ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു ആംഗിൾ സി ദിസ് കണ്ടീഷൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് കണ്ടീഷൻ ഈസ് ആംഗിൾ ബി ഈക്വൽ ടു ആംഗിൾ സി So, we can write that is angle EBC equal to angle FCB. The reason is corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Angle EBC means it is angle B. Angle FCB means it is angle C. So, we can write angle B equal to angle C. If angle B equal to angle C, we can say AB equal to AC because sides opposite to equal angles are also equal. If AB equal to AC, we can conclude triangle ABC is isosceles. Dear students, I hope you understood the topic in this video. If you have any doubt, Please comment.